Hello everyone. So today we are going to cover a practical assignment on Bollywood Song Store. Basically, we are going to create a database, and in that database, basically, we are going to cover different details through which we are going to generate reports which will help in our analysis. So the requirement here is we have to generate the design of database for Bollywood songs. So the details which we are going to require over here is name of song, the movie from which the song is going to be purchased, and there are going to be different reports which are going to be generated using this data. So it would be like just a very straightforward name of all the songs in the database. It would be number of users who purchased a particular movie song. Number of purchases for each movie. Movies for which there are multiple purchases by single user. So we are all going to see a live demo of how do we achieve this. So let's start with our uh, very first query, which is like getting all the songs in the database. So we are going to start with our uh, songs table. Here we'll just say select song name and we can just order it by song name. So when we execute this, we'll get all the list of the songs present in the songs table. So the query which we have written is very straightforward, just selecting song name, table is song and order by song name. So now let's start with our uh, next report, which is like number of users who purchased Lagan test movie songs. Now to execute this, what we know over here is the name of the movie is fixed. It's Lagan test. And to filter this data, right, we need the movies table. Secondly, to get the number of users, we need client details. So we have two things which we need. We need the client details table. We need the movies table. Movies table we need because we need to put a filter of movie name is Lacantes. We need client details because we need to get the distinct number of users. To achieve this, we need to join two tables that is client details and movie. This we know, but we cannot link directly these two tables. So for that, we need to have a linking by using other tables. So we need the songs table because through songs table, we would be able to link song purchase table through song purchase table. We can link this client details. So we need to achieve this linking. To achieve this, what we are going to do, we are going to join the movies table with the songs table based on this uh, movie ID. Once this linking established, we'll join song purchase table and the song table. And this linking would be achieved by the song ID. And lastly, we are going to join with client details table. So to join with client details table, we would need client ID. So definitely client details table contains the client ID and song purchase table also contains the client ID. So this linking established, we give this filters as Lagan test because this is like movie for which we want to find the number of users. And then once we get this, we want to find the count of distinct client names, right? So we'll use this query, select count of distinct client name. And when we execute this, we get the count, which is three. So now let's start with this uh, next query, which is like number of purchases for each movie. 
So for that, what we need to do is we need to mainly do the grouping based on this Movini. So now to achieve this, we need movie table, right? That is our base table. And also we need to get a linking to a table, which is nothing but song purchase table, because that will give us the songs which are being purchased, right? But we cannot achieve this linking directly. So we need to do a grouping of no doubt by movie name, but we need to achieve this linking of song purchase table with firstly songs table and then songs table with link to movie. The reason being there is no direct linking between song purchase and the movie table. So our first step would be we'll consider song purchase table. We'll join with the songs table based on the song ID. Then we'll join this with movies table based on the movie ID. And most important, we'll group the group by movie name. Okay, so this way we'll get a movie name and the result set and the count of movie songs purchased. So this is the summary that will going to come. Movie name and its count, count of movie songs purchased. Next we are going to consider is the movies for their for which there are multiple purchases by single user of songs. So for this firstly we need to consider this movies table and to get the clients we need the song purchase table but we cannot join directly song purchase and the movies table so we need an intermediate table and that is nothing but our songs table. So what we'll do, we'll use song purchase table first, join it with songs table and based on song ID. This we are going to join it with the movies table based on the movie ID. And then once we have this join intact, we can group by movie name and the client ID. And then with this group, we are going to consider the count. And this count should be nothing but greater than one. Since we want for a particular movie, there should be multiple purchase that to by a single user. So this will give us this count and then we can get a distinct movie name from this result set. So if we execute this, we will have this result set. So I hope you would have liked this video. So if you want me to make a video on any particular topic, just write that in the description box. And please, please like this video and do subscribe this channel. Thank you.